So this right here is the PinePhone Pro with the keyboard extension. This is the $60 keyboard extension. It's been a fun little device. I have enjoyed using it a lot because it's just been fun hacking around on mobile Linux. There's a lot that you can do from a Linuxy point of view. So if you're really interested in this, it's kind of neat how all this works. I really have enjoyed messing around and even trying to daily drive it multitude of times. Now I've used a whole bunch of different uh, operating systems when it comes to the PinePhone Pro and Linux Mobile in general. I've tried Fosh, which kind of reminded me of like a bad Android, a KDE Plasma, which was a little bit of like a hybrid slash desktop, but still like a bad version of Android. And then I kind of settled on SXMO, which is what you're seeing here, which is kind of like a, a mobile window manager because of how it's structured. And it's really neat how you could take different ones. Let's see, I could open up different workspaces. Like, let's say I have a terminal up here and I want to go to like workspace two. I even have workspace one, workspace two, much like a regular tiling window manager in Linux. And then you could build on that. So kudos to the developer. And it was so interesting to see, like, here's their layout of this right here. Super cool. Like when you have your apps, you could do gestures to close the app. Well, if you can do it correctly, <laughs> two fingers down. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> but it takes a while uh, to get used to some of these gestures. But I really appreciated the design aspects of SXMO the best, just because it was something different. It didn't feel like just a cheap Android knockoff that made me want to throw this out a window. The downside, the, the problem with Linux mobile as a whole and why I've been dreading making this video because I got this phone a year ago is just, I couldn't really do anything uh, because I wanted to showcase, man, look how far Linux Mobile's come along since two years ago when I first showed the prototype or the very first Pine phone that, that came on the market. And this phone, as much as I've tinkered around and installed, I could just never get a cohesive YouTube video to say this is the future or that you should even buy it. This phone is really only meant for developers or people that just want a cool gadget, maybe a Raspberry Pi with this screen. And I would say the keyboard add-on, super neat. Like I, I can appreciate what Pine Phone or Pine 64 is trying to do and foster. But the problem with Linux mobile is several fold. First up is the fact that its power management is still atrocious. There's a couple of you know advancements that's been made in the last two years where before when you turned on the Pine phone, you had no way to put it in standby. They've evolved past that to where you can have like a standby mode when you push the power button. It will go into a low power standby. It should last pretty much 12 hours right in there. Maybe, maybe a full day, but as far as when it boots up in its standard mode, it will run on battery dead in about one hour, no matter what you're doing, whether you're playing a video or you just got it on the screen showing it off. You got one hour to do your business and that's it. Unless you got a giant 6,000 milliamp battery keyboard like I attached this, then you'll get a couple hours. I wish I was joking, but that's just the reality, the cold, hard reality of what we're dealing with. And then I look at kind of how this is being developed, and it's really just all volunteers. And my hat's off to so many of these people, but none of them are getting paid for this. And when you look at the breakneck pace of the development behind Android and Apple, Linux mobile will just never be a thing. And it's taken me a couple years to come to that conclusion, but... As I was making calls and doing text messages and actually using the device, not, not just using it as a prop in a YouTube video like so many have done, I actually used it. The phone and the call quality, well, when I got my calls was okay, but there was some missed calls or things that just fell out into the ether. Same with text messages. Text messages really hit and miss. And I tried different carriers. I think Ting was okay-ish. I tried Google Fi, uh, which worked pretty well, except again, I missed some text messages here and there. And then, you know, 
you get into the power management and it's just a recipe for there's no way with these three cores or fundamentals that Linux mobile will really ever be a thing. After two years, you can't get those core pillars down. It's just not going to happen. So I've moved on, obviously, to a dumb phone uh, because I still like to get away from Android and Apple. And I realized how much uh, how unproductive I've been with my smartphone. And after moving to this, oh, man, I, I'll make a whole new video about this here in a couple of days, just updating you on my dumb phone experience because it's been phenomenal. Um, but I needed to revisit the Pine phone before I really move on. And that's what this video is. The Pine phone is for mobile devs that just kind of want to mess around. But as far as development, as far as it being available to the masses in the next five years, I would say is there's just no way. Uh, you can buy these things, you can tinker with them, but they're so, so far behind. And the fact that most of the development has been at a snail's pace just because of, hey, they don't have a major company pushing them. Uh, so if you want a cool gadget, I wouldn't buy this. Honestly, this for four, almost $500 with the keyboard and battery and everything, I would say go get a Steam Deck because the Valve, what they did in the mobile space with what they did with power management, how they designed that entire Steam Deck is kind of makes me even more disappointed with this because nothing really has ever gone into it uh as far as you know mass adoption or, or or a big group of developers getting on it it's just always kind of been a side project and people work on it when they can and it's not to knock the people that they that have been trying this but i don't want to sit here and lie to everyone and say this is an alternative to android and apple as I thought so bravely two years ago, I was like, oh, this is my going to be my new phone. Sadly, it will never be. And I really wish it were. So that's my video on the Pine phone. It's the last time I'm going to talk about it. It's probably going to be the last visit I make to Linux Mobile in many years. But the state of it is pretty grim. And there's so much that needs to be done with not enough developers that I just don't ever see it becoming a thing. So that's my honest review of the PinePhone Pro a year and a half late and revisiting this mobile thing after getting out of Android and Apple and then finally settling on a dumb phone, which frankly, I'm kind of glad that this whole journey ended where it did because... I couldn't be happier. I just wish it was the Pine phone that I was using. It's just never going to be. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.